precise handle uh, on church finances. Some dioceses make uh, partial disclosure. We found that uh, the Catholic Church has taken uh, anywhere from between 1.4 billion and 3.5 billion dollars out of the federal Paycheck Protection Program, which is part of the CARES Act, the uh, coronavirus relief package. And uh, we found that the church did this through a specific uh, lobbying effort. Uh, normally, uh, only small businesses, tax-paying businesses, uh, get small business loans. Those are audited financial reports, and some don't make any disclosure at all. However, this action by the Small Business Administration is unprecedented because it's actually using federal money to pay the salaries of priests and ministers. I mean, it's almost as if there is no wall between church and state because the federal government is using taxpayer dollars to pay priests and ministers. It's also unprecedented that a religion would actually get preferential treatment, which is what's happening here. So I think uh, legal scholars are very concerned that the wall between church and state it might be disappearing. Yes, we found that um, many of the dioceses that are collecting uh, large numbers of loans through the Paycheck Protection Program are dioceses that may be financially distressed, uh, not just because of the coronavirus, but in fact because of the large payouts they've had to make to clergy sex abuse victims. And many of these payments have been made quite recently through uh, compensation uh, funds, victim compensation funds. I think at this point, uh, as far as I've been able to tell, the victims and victim advocates are just uh, in a state of shocked and stunned uh, disbelief. I don't even believe they've had a chance to process this information. It's just a, a huge amount of money, and I don't think anyone expected this. I don't think anyone saw this coming. I think uh, the president is looking for support from uh, conservative uh, Christians, both evangelicals and, say, uh, anti-abortion Catholics. So I think uh, the president uh, appears to be unconcerned with any erosion of the wall between church and state and seems to be using this for what he believes is political gain.